So you just got a Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive, the brush model, and you're wondering what upgrades you should get. This is the video for you. How's it going guys, Joshua with Trax RC, and today I'll be sharing with you guys the first five upgrades that you should get for your Slash two-wheel drive. Now in this video, we will only be covering upgrades for the brush model. Yeah, all these upgrades will work if you have the brushless model and you can tell brushed versus brushless in the amount of wires that goes from the ESC to the motor. If you have two wires, that means you have the brush model and if you have three, you have the brushless model. Basically the brushed power system is gonna be slower and it's gonna be better for beginners and the brushless is more higher power and stuff like that. And if you wanna learn more about motors, I'll link a video right up here where we did a full discussion specifically on 1 tenth scale motors. So before we start the list of the first five upgrades that you should get for your Slash, we just wanna welcome any new viewers to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click that notification bell so that you get notified when we upload a video. All right, so the first upgrade that you should get for your brushed slash is a 2S LiPo and a charger. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably just starting out in the hobby or this is your first slash. So the 2S battery that we would recommend is a Traxxas 2S battery. Um, they are quite expensive, but they're great for beginners. And they're great for beginners because when you pair them up with a Traxxas charger, the whole system is basically foolproof. You really can't mess up charging one of these batteries with the charger. Um, basically, when you plug the battery in, it automatically matches all the settings to the battery that you have plugged in, and you just press start, and then it charges for you. You don't have to go in and tell it it's a 2S LiPo or what amperage to charge it at. It does that all for you, which makes it perfect for beginners. Because if you don't plug in the right settings, if you had a traditional charger, it can be very catastrophic and probably the charger and the battery will catch fire. And if you're looking for the most fun, I would recommend getting two Traxxas batteries and then the dual charger. So then you can have one battery charging while you're running and you could just have an endless cycle of fun. We'll put a few battery and charger options in the description below, as well as all the other upgrades that we talk about in this video. Now, one thing I didn't talk about is the benefits of a 2S LiPo. Um, if you have a new Slash, you probably didn't get one with the battery or you did get one with the battery. If you did get the battery included with your model, then it's a nickel metal hydride battery and that thing is just garbage. Just throw it away and upgrade the 2S immediately, even if you're a beginner. It's so much better. 2S just makes the car a little bit faster, more punched, more responsive, and you have the same speed throughout the run. Unlike nickel metal hydride batteries, the speed decreases along with the power throughout your run, and with LiPos, that is not the case, which makes it so much more fun to drive. And that's the first upgrade that you should get for your Slash two-wheel drive. So the second upgrade that you should get for your Slash is new tires. The stock ones are just absolute garbage. Uh, they have zero grip and just, yeah, just take them off right away. And you wanna upgrade to some Proline tires. They make the best tires for really any RC car. Our tire of choice for our Slashes is the Proline Badlands. They just have so much more traction than the stock tires and they are so much more aggressive as you can see here. The only downside of these tires is that they wear down pretty fast, but we've been running these for a few years, and even though they're wore down a lot, they still have so much more traction than the stock ones. Now your upgraded tires don't have to be Badlands. You obviously wanna make sure that you're getting the right tire for the terrain that you'll be driving in. These are pretty much an all-terrain tire. They're great in grass, great in mud and dirt, not great on the street, um, they wear down really fast on the street, so I would not recommend them on asphalt. But if you're mainly off-road, these are a great tire. We will also link some other tires down in the description along with these ones. So the third upgrade that you should get for your Slash are aluminum shock caps. The stock plastic shock caps just pop off all the time. The aluminum ones completely stop that. I've never popped one of these off, and they're only $15 for four and you can get them in blue, red, pink, green, and probably more colors that I'm forgetting, so you can really customize your rig. Moving on to your fourth upgrade, that should be new drive shafts. 
Now for a slash, there are a lot of drive shaft options, but what we like to do is go two routes. We either go with a stronger plastic drive shaft. Uh, here is the stock drive shaft. You can see that it is just really thin and this one's actually wear out a lot. And then you can step it up to a stronger drive shaft. Um, this is one off of a Stampede 4x4. As you can see, it's just a lot bigger universal. And then you can really step it up to the big dog, a Rustler 4x4 drive shaft. Now this drive shaft does require a little bit of modification to get it to fit because it will rub against the link right here and also against the A-arm. But you can trim it out so that it does fit and we actually run this drive shaft on our green slash. And we have never broken one of these drive shafts on that rig. And we've actually never even broken one of these in general. So if we're on a budget, we will either upgrade to Stampede 4x4 or Rustler 4x4 drive shafts. But if we want maximum durability, we will upgrade to metal drive shafts. So there are plenty metal drive shaft options that you can get, but we would recommend getting techno ones or MIP shafts. We would not recommend you to get aluminum drive shafts. You want to make sure that they are 100% steel. These are our go-to drive shafts for a lot of our RC cars. We have these on this slash, another slash, and both of our stampedes. And out of all of those cars, we've only broke one. And if you break one of these drive shafts, Techno has a lifetime warranty on them and they will replace it, no questions asked. But if it bends, they will not replace it. It has to be cracked. So number four was drive shafts. Again, the stock ones are just so thin walled and there's barely any material on them. They'll just snap all the time if you're not careful. And last, but certainly not least, the fifth upgrade that you should get is an LCG chassis. Guys, this is probably the best upgrade that you can get for a slash. So this slash has the stock high CG chassis. And as you can imagine, it has a very high center of gravity whereas the LCG chassis is a lot lower, so it will bring the weight down and cause it to flip over less. The only downside to the LCG chassis is that you do lose a lot of ground clearance, but it's a short course truck. You don't even really need a lot of ground clearance anyways. And another reason why the LCG chassis is so much better than the high CG is that it just looks a lot cooler. I mean, just look at this chassis compared to this one. It's such a big difference. All right guys, so there you go. That is our first five upgrades that you should get for your slash two wheel drive. Tell us down in the comments if you want us to do the same video for your brushless slash. Uh, we will be willing to do that if you guys wanna see it. So that is it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC.